Hey friends, Mr. Andy here, and today I'm going to be reading some letters that you mailed in to me. So recently, I encouraged you all to write in to me about the thing that you're looking forward to most in this new year, in the year 2021. Now, even though we're still having to deal with a lot of the coronavirus, the COVID-19 things with our masks and having to stay distanced, we have hope in this new year. And so today I'm gonna to be reading some letters of hope and hopefully some of these things uh, are things that we'll be able to look forward to and do in this new year. So the first letter I have is from Mava in Springfield, Missouri. And let's see what Mava has to say. Mr. Andy, this year, I hope I can go to the beach and visit my friends at their house. Well, I don't know if your friends have a beach house or if you're wanting to do both of those things, but that is such a great thing because we haven't been able to see our friends like we have in the past, have we? And not only that, it's hard to go to the beach when we have to stay so far apart and we can't really play and share the same water and that kind of thing. So I hope that we can do those same things this year as well, Mava. Thank you so much for writing in. All right, our next letter is from Sarah and she's from Nixa, Missouri. And Sarah writes, Mr. Andy, I am looking forward to going to camp to see my friends this year. I didn't get to go last year because of COVID-19. Now, Sarah, we didn't get to host camp from our church either this year because of that same reason. And I know that you guys are all missing your friends more than ever and, and camp's a fun place for us to connect. So yes, I hope that you also get to enjoy camp this year, whenever that is, hopefully after our vaccines and everything have taken place and we live in a safer world. So thank you so much, Sarah, for writing in. That was a great letter. All right, our last one that I'll be reading today is from Elvis from Springfield, Missouri. And let's see what Elvis is gonna say. Dear Mr. Andy, I really look forward to Halloween this year. I hope that this year I can share candy with my friends. Also, I want to play outside with my friends. This is really awesome, Elvis, because Halloween is such a cool time where we can go door to door and, and get to get fun candy and treats from other people. And this last year, we really weren't able to do that as safe or as easily as in years before. And also, yeah, it's hard to play with your friends when we have to kind of stay out by ourselves and not really able to play together. So I'm really glad that you wrote in for that. It's important that we have hope in all of these things. So friends, I want to read you a scripture verse that can encourage us to have hope for the future. Now, I'm gonna put the verse on the screen here and feel free to read along with me. This is from the book of Jeremiah and it's chapter 29, verse 11, and it says this. I know the plans I have for you, announces the Lord. I want you to enjoy success. I do not plan to harm you. I will give you hope for the years to come. So if you've heard a little bit different version of that verse, it's because I'm reading that out of the NIRV, which is the New International Revised Version. It's a little bit easier for some of us to understand that scripture. So I have a new and encouraging prompt. If you would like for me to read your letter on camera next week, go ahead and write in to me at, you can put my name on there, Mr. Andy or Andy Hout, H-A-U-T. Address it to 922 West Republic Road, and that's in Springfield, Missouri, 65807. Or you can email me at ahaut at wesleymethodist.com. So next week, this is going to be our encouraging prompt. Since we have something coming up, a holiday like Valentine's Day. We're going to be talking about love next week. And this is what I want you to write in is, how do you show other people that you love them? Go ahead and write in to me with where you're from. And I would love to read that on camera and we'll see what scripture might have to say about it. So friends, be encouraged to stay connected. Remember, if you write in to me, I'll send something back to you as well. So this could be a fun pen pals time that we can have. All right, well, until next time, I hope that you guys have a great week. Make sure that you keep hope for the next week, for the next month, for this whole year, because things will get better. We just have to trust in God and hang on. All right, friends, till next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.